I'm in a fast car. Would that be like NASCAR? Molly in my jeans. Yo, what is up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can edit a Fortnite montage just like Numbi in DaVinci Resolve. So, uh, as you guys saw in the intro, I will be covering the velocity, the reverse VHS buildup, and the really cool RGB impact, as well as the velocity as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. And uh, right now I do have my clips lined up with the song NASCAR by uh, Killbunk. Uh, it's a really good song, Numbi used it. Uh, a couple weeks back on clicks this montage maybe a month ago and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you how to uh, first do the reverse velocity effect and the impact so uh, what we're gonna want to do is uh, first go to playback and timeline proxima set it to quarter resolution so it, it's way smoother and uh, go to where the gun shoots right here as you can see there's like fire right here so the frame that the gun shoots uh click ctrl b on your keyboard which should be split and then go to where the gun is pulled out right here the frame where the gun is pulled out uh split your clip and uh, just drag the last part of the clip like far and uh with this right here what you're going to do is click alt and uh, drag the clip with obviously left click and uh, do it again as you can see now you have three sets of this I'm in a fast car would I be like and that's exactly how it's supposed to be actually let me just turn on the volume a bit that should be good and uh, now for the first one you're just going to want to keep it how it is the second one uh, uh, right click it uh, change clip speed and click on reverse speed and as you can see the speed would be minus 100 so basically it goes backwards and uh the last one just keep it how it's supposed to be so here's how it should look like and as you can see it reverses and uh now just drag this clip back here and uh, make sure that the marker lines up with the with the song and uh, it should line up. Yeah, it lines up. It's not a very good lineup, but it's fine. And uh, yeah, now that it's synced, you're gonna want to change the velocity up a bit. Uh, click Control R on your keyboard, and uh, add a speed point uh, two frames in front of the marker. One, two. Add a speed point. And uh, change the speed to 400 and uh, just click this and drag it away for him a bit and uh, just uh, move this like so just make the, the left part longer and then just uh, go one frame in front of the speed point and then just drag it so it goes there and uh, now to call go to the last frame of this and uh, match it up with like the so like it lines up with this frame right here or with this clip right here so it should be where the gun shoots I think yeah it's on it's where the gun shoots so and make sure that the last speed is 50. Uh, this is kind of an advanced tutorial, so like if you're not keeping up, uh, well, just click off the video, I guess, because this is kind of an advanced tutorial. I'm in a fast car. In a fast car. And uh, yeah, it should look good. And uh, for the 50% part of the of the speed, uh, what's it called? Make it fit uh, 50 frames. So. I'll just make it 50 frames. If you're advanced, you should know how to do that. That's 43. And uh, just click Control B on your keyboard and split. It doesn't have to be 50 frames, but I just prefer it to be 50 frames, so it's nice and short. And uh, now, go into the effects tab right here. And uh, drag in an adjustment clip. Right over top. And then split it 
or put it over top of like the middle clip that was reversed and split it at the end of the middle clip so it's just basically as long as the reverse clip and uh go into the fusion tab and uh here's where i wanted to add uh, my free preset i put in the description uh where is it uh it is called uh numby vhs build up it's really just a uni vhs with a bit of tweak settings and uh here what you want to do let's go three frames in front of where it starts one two three and then fade it in so the fade ends on it so and then do the exact same thing right here go three frames back one two three and then just fade it so the fade ends three frames so it should look like this it is gonna lag like it's a universe plugin and uh now i'm gonna add the impact so drag an adjustment clip over top of the marker actually so not where this clip starts on the marker you want to add it over top of the marker and obviously uh, cut it to how short the the 50 uh the 50 speed clip is so like just basically this go into the fusion tab and uh drag in the numby best impact and this basically comes with two shakes and it comes with rgb so uh, it should already be keyframe for you and as you can see it looks pretty nice now that we are done uh with the with the first clip make everything a compound clip and uh if you if you were wondering why i don't have an audio track is because i deleted it beforehand and i'm gonna add an sfx it's literally just sfx that number uses i'll drop in the description as well it's called the spas 200 no shield and i'm just gonna line it up with the marker and trim it at the end and then fade it so right around here should be good and uh now that you have the compound clip for my clip the resolution's a bit messed up as you can see there are the black bars right here and if you've like been having this problem go into the square right here and then just stretch it so it fills up the black bars right there should be good so uh, yeah right there it shows you the uni vhs build up and then just has the impact so now that we're done with the first clip i'm gonna add the second clip i'm gonna go into uh, a folder that i have downloaded and uh i'm gonna use the uh, where is it is it the, the, the 203 uh edit core zone wars uh i'm gonna have the clips used in the description so you guys can like basically copy the tutorial and uh find the beat drop and i've already found it right here as you can see like it's where it goes up hard like there's just a big audio track and uh find where the i uh, just trim this so it basically fits the clip and uh find where the shield is cracked so you can see right here blue appears on that character so that's when you know the shield is correct i also deleted the audio from this clip because just like i explained before nami doesn't use that much in-game audio he uses more sound effects and uh it should be good it should be fine to follow. and uh here's where i'm going to show nami's velocity so i'm going to retemp controls at a speed point on the marker go where the gun is pulled out right there uh at another speed point and then go i'd say in the middle it doesn't really matter for this one at another speed point and change the first speed to 50 uh second speed to 400 go to the last speed point and go three frames in front one two three drag this in front like that and then make sure that the last speed point uh, basically lines up with the marker and I've, I've shown this in tutorials before so it shouldn't be anything new for you guys and uh, make sure that the last speed is 50 so as you can see right here 
And as you can see, Nami's velocity is actually like real, like it speeds up on the kill. And uh, if you guys feel like the like three frames in front for the 400 velocity is a bit too hard, go one frame uh, back, trim the speed like that, so and lines up with the playback head, and then just uh, drag this out like that. So yeah, it should be good. And uh, like I said before, make the kill part 50 frames on the marker. Uh, just go 50 frames in front. Uh, it should be just click shift and arrow key. And then go 10 frames back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Split. And just go like that. So it should look like this. And uh, now what I'm going to show you guys is how to add the impact. Uh, it's basically it's the same impact as before. Uh, I split it so it's as long as the kill, and I just drag in my impact. It's called Numbi Best Impact. Uh, yeah, there's a car going like right next to my window, so if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. And uh, I'm gonna just drag on the uh, Spaz 200 No Shield. So you guys can hear it. And uh, now I'm going to show you the color correction. So now make everything a compound clip. Right click, new compound clip. And this should basically make everything like a basically one clip by itself. Uh, open effects. Search for looks. Uh, you will need the Magic Bullet Looks plugin for this. So I recommend you get it. It's really like the best color correction plugin there is. And... Uh, Wait for it to load for post. Search for curves. And uh, just like make it go up a bit like that. I'd say that's good. Numbi doesn't really switch too much with the colors. He just makes it a bit brighter. And uh, that should be it for the tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to obviously drop a like, subscribe, and uh, join my new Discord server. It will be in the description. Uh, we already have, at the time of recording this video, we have around 50 members, so make sure to join that. I will be dropping like premium content there. we will be dropping free presets that do not appear in my videos, so obviously make sure to join that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy your day and uh, peace.